kitchen. Well, we've got Molly in the kitchen. Hi. I bet you can't believe it. <laughs> so it's been a massive week here at Sugar and Crumbs. You've had three Facebook Lives, Monday, Tuesday, and today. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. So who was here on Monday, Laura? I can't remember. At Catalina. Yes, <laughs> Catalina. <laughs> so let me just show Robin you. Jackie. I've been Jackie. I don't think I've been a full kitchen. kitchen. It was amazing, isn't it? That's so Catalina nice. was here on Monday telling you about her new fabulous uh, flower modelling paste. So she here was here, made this one, so that was that live. I know you all thoroughly enjoyed it. And we are going to book some classes for her. In fact, they're already in the diary for November. And then last night we had Rob and Jackie in the kitchen. Some of you are a little bit confused about the kitchen, but we did start it earlier. So we recorded it earlier and just toned it in as though it was eight o'clock, but we were just ahead of schedule. So some of you were a little bit crafty and saw that it was daylight still outside, but that's how clever we are. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? And then Molly was going to come and do an intro on Monday night yep. and tell you when she was going to come and do a live. <laughs> so really quite sad it was that Molly then rang me and uh, to be fair, I didn't recognize her from this happy chatty, face, chatty person I, I was talking chatty. to, <laughs> to suddenly this woman who was crying her eyes out, I had no idea who it was. So do you want to tell them a little bit, Molly? Do you want to tell them yeah. who you are? Because I'm sure they do know who you are, but for those of them who don't, Probably a few of you don't. Um, I'm Molly and I run a cake business. It's called Molly's Creative Cakes. I'm based in East Lancashire, not too far from you, Carol, just down the road. And I also appear on Channel 4 Extreme Cake. Now. I know, lucky yeah. aren't So Got a I celebrity have. in the house, can you believe it? <laughs> I'm lucky one. I know. And the funny thing is, we're over at Paul Bradford's on Monday. Who follows behind us? Molly? I know. So as we leave on the Tuesday, she moves in on the Wednesday. <laughs> it's come at a good Look time at those as well. celebrity steps we are here at Sugar and Crumbs. It has come at a good time. So, anyhow, so Molly rang me yesterday and said, Listen, Carol, I've got to bounce back. There's no point me being depressed. I can come and do a live for you. Yeah. But I've got, no <laughs> I said to her today, Do you want to bring some of your models? So she said, I'd like to, but they're up in smoke. <laughs> so everything's so yeah, gone, my isn't studio, it? I had a fire at my studio on Monday um, caused by a tumble dryer. So just be careful of your tumble dryers, everybody, because. It wasn't even on. Yeah, my studio is no more. It's, it's gone, which is very sad. And but you know you've got to kind of keep going. And if you don't, you just go mad, don't you? I think you do. I've got to keep working. And that's quite a positive attitude, which is how she rang me yesterday and said, "Listen, Carol, I've got to be working. I've got to do this. I've got cakes to make." And we need to say thank you to Renshaw Academy because yes. they helped you out with the kitchen. Yeah, Renshaw Academy. I did offer, me, um, but they beat me to it. I'm there two <laughs> days a week now, so actually working there two days a week, so actually brilliant. making cakes. cakes. I've got one sat in the car ready to go. Yeah. Um, so well done, Renshaw, for doing that. That's marvellous. Really pleased. And we're going to be using some of your products tonight. Yeah. Not all of them, I'm afraid, because I didn't have them all here. But we'll be using a lot of your products tonight. So, yeah, I apologise if I'm a bit, little bit disorganised. <laughs> I'm usually a lot more organised, but all my things are burning the fire. So. <laughs> She's come in and I've said, got you one got, penny. She came in and said, have you got this? Have you got that? I've got that. And I said, that's really pretty finished. The so this is all I've got left. The other ones are burnt so. to a crisp. But Good. the lovely Gina from Sunday Girl, which is the piece that I wear, to, yeah. she's going to send me them all. The she knows she's when I'm in the building, she loves my perfume. I, so she, I was going to say, it's lovely. She that. loves it. She, she always goes, Carol, I can smell you walking up the aisle <laughs> wherever I am at any cake show. And she always tries to make sure she's near us when we're at the cake show. She's, she's lovely. She's so lovely. It makes yeah. lovely things as well. Good. But yeah, this one didn't get burnt, so that's quite nice. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> so how's our audience doing, Laura? Should we let them get word in? It's amazing. We've got over 300 people watching so far. Aww, We've got nice. an amazing audience with us. Lots of positive comments. Everyone's really pleased to see you, Molly. Aww. Lots of positive thank comments you. and support for you and lots of love coming your way. Thank you. Um, so thank you everyone for watching. It and is thank fantastic. I've had loads of really nice messages and obviously I can't reply to them all because it's just like yeah. thousands and thousands, but like it was so, it's so nice when something awful happens. Yeah, there's um, a lot of support for yeah, you. Yeah, really nice. It's been, it, and it is really hugely appreciated as well, so thank you. Yeah. It's just very hard, isn't it? When something like that happens, it's shock, isn't it? I know when I spoke to you on well, Monday and you was, mm. I spoke to you in the morning, I spoke to you in the afternoon, you were like two different people, yeah. you were hysterical, well, and yeah. I was like, oh my yeah. God, right, okay. I think it's just, you know, that's been my studio for eight years, and yeah. that's been my life for eight years, and it's a very personal thing, and it's things like, things you can't replace, like um, my awards that I've won, and oh, oh, yeah. everything yeah. like that, it's just really crap. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, got to talk with you. Yeah, it's just a, a very personal thing, but you know, and a lot of cakes that I've made. And yeah. then for with the creature creator, we've just done a show, so I made. Yes, because I, I saw them all at the show. Yeah, they were all there. We had about there. thirty. Yeah, we should have taken pictures now. I didn't. Yeah, no. So it's yeah. just sad, isn't it? You just don't realise that it can all 
kind of go within Disappear. minutes. Yeah, but you know. But anyhow, we're going to start making two more. We're going Yay. to make two tonight. So we were discussing because Molly's turned, she rang me yesterday afternoon. She said, right, I'm going to make it. We'll do the full live. So then, of course, I've not asked her what she needed. I don't know why brain's gone out of the window. <laughs> um, mainly because I've been do building our new area all day today, believe it or not. So I've been in there since half past five this morning. And uh, I know, Maria, half past five was in there this morning. <laughs> <No>. so, <laughs> so um, but I come home very happy that area is done. Then Molly come in and said, have you got this? Have you got that? I went, hmm. Might have been a good idea if I asked you what you needed. But no, I but I'm so <laughs> disorg I'm usually a lot more organised. My brain's just gone somewhere But I think else, we've I think. managed most things. Yes. So the important thing is, Molly is going to tell you what yeah. is in these two magic boxes. So we'll yeah. open them up in a minute. Brilliant. But we'll open them up. There's two different things in here. They mm -hmm. both look identical. But you know you've got them different because there's two little colour badges, yeah. blue and purple. Okay. I stuck every one of these on by hand, so <laughs> so I every box. I the, stuck all the labels on. This is where I've got mad. <laughs> we're the first person to sell these for Molly. Okay, so we're really very, very honoured. We'd really love your support. If you haven't got one, you did amazing at the show selling them, though, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So that's why we're very limited yeah. in numbers at the moment. But, yeah. Um, put a new order in tomorrow, so. Yeah. To get some more. So if you want one, you can only get them off us or off Molly's website. Have you got any more websites to sell? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have got some. It's yeah. Molly'sCreatureCreator.com. But this is it. This, this is, is the it. Creature Creator. So, yeah. so do you want to tell them about it? Yeah. A little intro to it is basically, I mean, my before I did the program and everything like that, and, and before I did teaching, at the heart and soul of it, I am a cake maker for the public. So I make cakes for people as most well, of while, while we're talking on this subject okay you all know that what goes on in the kitchen and sugar and crumbs stays in the kitchen so you know if we're touching our hair today and our nails <laughs> it's because we're here we're not giving this cake to anybody albeit i've already tasted some of this cake and i reckon that maria laura and i will be scoffing plenty of it <laughs> oh it literally came out the other so, two hours ago it's it's so so <laughs> it was a little bit warm yeah so um Fresh. So don't worry about anything, it's not going to anywhere for human consumption or anything yeah. like that, apart from us, we're the only humans who will be munching it. We're not going to lick and it. And Maria's really very giddy, as soon as she heard it was going to be a unicorn cake, because apparently it was National Unicorn Day yesterday, so she was beside herself yesterday. Oh. And um, and we was talking about this, like, you know, when Molly does a filming for, you know, filming, that's just so that they all look great. But when they're actually really making the cakes, they're dressed up and don't worry about things. I'll send you a picture of me making actual cakes. I look awful. It's not as though she's been rolling around in the mud, is it, before she made a cake? No, so true. can we keep any of those comments out of the way? And if anyone comes in and starts going, why have you got your hair down and all that, tell them to bug off. <laughs> yeah? Because we're in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Have we don't care. Have a glass of wine, don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pardon? Have a glass of wine. Have a glass of wine, don't worry about <laughs> it. That's my mantra yeah. this week. Just anyway. wash it down. Now, so <laughs> I'm going to go and sit around that side. Oh great! Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave you to you. it. When you want to, if I ask you any questions, try and look at Laura. Yeah. Okay, and answer to them because it's She's those lovely people. And that little screen there. Those are the ones who are watching you. Oh, hello. Okay. Here is what they're going to see you make. Cool. This one will come from a side angle. Wow. And you're going to have the lovely Maria over your shoulder. Yeah. Hopefully not down your top because no. <laughs> that'd be a different view altogether. Bit of blue for the dance. Wait till after nine for that. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll um, let you get on with it. I'll go and Thank see you. the screen now. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. So You're welcome. my creature creator is based. It's, do you know it's crazy because when I film for extreme cake makers, it all gets edited. This is all yeah. live. Anything wrong? <laughs> it's, it's just, just us. Yeah, it's just us. <laughs> but basically, I designed this. It was an idea I had a few years ago, and I wanted something that takes the stress and the wastage and the complication from 3D cakes. Because I'm known for my 3D cakes, it's the cakes I'm the most passionate about and I'm the most interested in, and it's sort of my speciality, particularly the animals and the character cakes. So I just found really, number one problem I was having was when you carve a cake, it all just gets thrown in the bin. So you kind of bake twice the amount of cake just to carve it down. So for example, with the molds, this is an eight egg mixture. It's about the same size as an eight inch round cake. And you'd bake at least two of those to get a cake this size, carve it all down, and the majority goes in the bin. And nobody likes making cake pops. If anyone says no. they like making cake pops, they're lying. Because it's <laughs> horrific. I've tried it, and it's really hard. Like I could make a 10 foot cake of an 
elephant, but cake pops, terrifying. <laughs> so nobody wants those. But this way, you're eliminating all the waste. So a yes. lot of the waste, anyway. You still get some. I've baked, these were quite big, these have come out quite big. But, you know, with the recipe, the eight egg mix, you don't get too much in there. And also, I think a lot of people, when I teach at the Renshaw Academy, I do sculpted cake classes, and people are very intimidated by you know, picking up the knife and starting the carving process because it's very, you've just got to be brave yeah, with it. you've just got to go for it. You've got to go for it. <laughs> Otherwise, like, you can be scared to make the first cut. So it eliminates all that, eliminates all the carving. And the internal supports were a really complicated one as well. People were kind of worried about, you know, what? how do we structure a cake? And with something like the standing style especially, you'd usually have to have like a Rice Krispie head because of the weight of the head on the body. With this way, we've designed something where the head's inbuilt, so the head comes with it and it's a part of it. And because it's baked into it, it gets this nice, like, firm crust on the outside. Mm. It means it's nice and strong. So actually, you don't need any internal supports at all, which I quite like. And as a cake maker, and, you know, I do a lot of cakes for children, anyone really, it's so nice to be able to give somebody a cake and say, there you go. It's rather it's than cake, yeah. yeah. Rather than saying, take this out. Take, yeah. I know that's... We have to do that sometimes, and with my bigger cakes, absolutely I do that, but for this size, you can literally just slice it and eat it, and it's such yeah. a nice feeling, it's a really nice feeling. Any it's chance you can just hold one of those up, just yes. so people can see So this is, what these are the two when you slice all that off, we'll be eating it, I've already had a little bit. <laughs> I am about to slice this up, so this is the standing style, it's purple, the two different colours makes it kind of easy to differentiate, yeah. and as well when we do the um, tutorials to come alongside, it'll either be standing style or laying style, depending on which you've got. Yeah. You can also buy both, which is great. Um, so yeah, that's the purple one. And then this is the laying style. So this is like a nice turquoisey blue. Yeah. So I'm gonna level these off just to show you how easy it is. And all I'm using is a a just a flat serrated knife, like a bread knife. And you just level it along the top. So when you bake it, it'll actually go outside the mold. It'll go a little bit higher yeah. in the mold. I'm just level. I mean, this is a little bit warm, this cake, because I literally baked it at the academy. She said to me, she said, I had to take them out with the oven gloves. Yeah, so I put them out, I took them out with the oven gloves and put them in the car. Just with the oven gloves on. <laughs> so you can see, you can just level it along the top. Like this, let's get rid of all that. Is that spare? That's spare. <laughs> Good, because I've had no tea. <laughs> you had any tea, Marie? Yes. I've had no breakfast, so. <laughs> I've got to make up for it then. <laughs> so... This allows us, what I say as well, is bake it in the tit, in the mould. Yeah. Cool it down fully. I mean, this could have been another half an hour, so I do apologise if it doesn't come out all in one, but I'm sure it will. And then, we're going to loosen it a little bit. I've, what I've used on this some cake release spray for the first time. Oh, yeah. At least for live. So. <laughs> what I say in the booklet, which is what you get, is um, grease and flour. Mm. So I grease yeah. it and then sprinkle it with flour. But this, they might come out, you never know. <laughs> I've got my thumb in it. Well, the good thing is, if it doesn't come out, you're going to show us how you're going to put it. To oh, I can see it's come out now. It's come out. Yeah. So there's one half. Mm -hmm. There she is. It looks a bit like a jelly baby this one. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I'll show you the next one. This will be this will be usually the other one. Well, I must admit, when I saw the pictures, I was thinking, oh, right, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't look much, but it's just the reason why I came up with these shapes is because I found myself carving the same shape over and over again yeah. for different cakes, and it's all about the decoration really. So they come out of the moulds, and you can see as well with the back of the mould, they've got this like they've got like feet on them, mm -hmm. so it means they can stand in the oven without um. Uh, tray yeah it's brilliant right. and they're heavy as well they're thick they're four mils thick can they go in the dishwasher yes great a lot of the silicone mold you get are quite um thin you know mm, the cheap yes. ones yes they're, and they're flimsy you can feel they're flimsy they're flimsy yeah. and they kind of flop whereas yeah. these ones they hold themselves up um and mean that they can just withstand and i think they'll probably last quite a lot longer as well i know we've like a lot of us have, everyone's i think got that giant cupcake one yeah, because that's been made by like a million different people and I think it's gone a little bit thin and cheap. <laughs> yeah, this, well, that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, someone will probably do it to this, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'll, 
still have the original form. Yes, nice right. thick one yes. nice well, cover. I will tell you, Molly, and everybody who follows us knows that I'm only a supporter of brands. Yeah. So we don't buy anything that's a copy. Yeah. And we don't buy any cheap products at all. And are very much about talking to our audience about yeah. understanding when people has actually come up with an idea. Yeah. Oh, Maria's eating cake. <laughs> Everyone's eating cake. <laughs> oh, we're going It's quite nice. This, again, this is not... With the with the moulds, I'll, I'll open one up in a minute. You do get a book with a recipe in, and I recommend um, a Madeira recipe, which is what I use for everything. Yeah. This is a, a mix that we use because we had it at the Renshaw Academy, so it's a little bit softer. Mm. But I think it just goes to show that you could actually experiment with your own recipe. Yeah. I know some people have their own recipes. I say if you're not used to doing 3D cakes... Definitely use a Madeira. We well, should. It's stronger cake anyway, stronger. isn't it? Stronger. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you don't want to be using a Victoria sponge mix, do you? No. I mean, this is quite soft. Yeah, or Genoese. No. This is probably really similar to a Genoese, actually. Mm. So this is half of this coming out here. If anyone laughs at the shape of this, then... I know. I was just going to say. They're very naughty. Mm. So that's one half there. And then the other half. Da, 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 da. That's still warm. Yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> it's still warm. I don't know what you was actually thinking when you made that mould, actually. I, I had to do, look at it twice. I know. So. It is a little bit <laughs> um, I mean, if you and don't start stroking it on here, we'll all be getting worried. Hendu cakes, maybe, might be nice. <laughs> See that when we just put it together like that. <laughs> That's just in your mind. You knew exactly what I was talking about, though, oh, didn't well, you? Oh, I designed you it. Think, I <laughs> So this is the box that it comes in. This is the, the Lane style, which is the Carol's favourite style. <laughs> um, and it comes in the box. This is my nice logo. That's designed that's by Gina from Sunday Girl. It's got all the different animals on. Oh, did she design that for yeah. you, did she? Because we also fantastic. do a pinny. Yeah. We do a peach crate and pinny to match. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so it comes in the box. And then you get in there this user guide. The user guide's the same for both moulds. And it says, you know, it's got both the moulds inside there. And this has got a little intro in it, and then it's got some information about the moulds. It's got a cake recipe, because I know that's quite nice. It yeah. gives you the amounts and everything. Just I mean, a lot of people are not used to making um, a Madeira cake recipe, so it's good to have yeah, a, a nice just, one. Yeah, it's just what I use, yeah. you know, that's what I recommend. Then it's got how to use them, so grease and flour. Yeah. I mean, that, that was cake release, that came out fine. Yeah. Grease and flour is probably a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, it's all the same. Taking the moulds out. A really nice thing, because it's got two halves, is you can bake two different flavours. Yeah. Mm, so you could do like nice. a half chocolate, half vanilla. Mm -hmm. That's nice. nice. And then when you slice it, you get the half and half, yeah. which is quite nice. How to take it out, which you've just seen. Um, you get a buttercream recipe and a ganache recipe. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of everything. Crumb coating and then fondant covering. So tips on how to cover in fondant because there's two different methods I use for the two different styles. Mm -hmm. I go one over the top and then one I wrap round. It's just how I do it. And then some modelling shapes is just your basic. So all the shapes that I use to model in the tutorials I'll describe here. So I use like a ball shape, a sausage shape, which is what it is. And then tools, useful tools. And then some texturing techniques, so how I do the fur texture. So it's just a little, little guide to get you started, and it's got all the social media and stuff on the back. Mm -hmm. And then, depending on which... which um, is that for great? Mm. Yeah, French Bulldog, actually. Oh, is it? Oh, French Bulldog. <laughs> so this comes with the Lane style. This is a full tutorial. This is uh, Francis the French. He's a French Bulldog. And this is these are quite detailed step-by-step. Step. So this one's got 81 steps. But I would say this is a little yeah, bit more Yeah, but, but I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Because I hate it when you read something and then it misses a step and you think, Yeah, what yeah. happened there? How do I do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also quite like for a change the fact that it's in paper. Mm. I like having things out and just Me around. too. And you can collect them and you can put them in a little wallet or whatever. So that, that comes with that. And then there's also I a I would reading. say you were showing your age, but you're only a baby. See, I'm one of those who likes it all in paper and all in no, plastic so bullets in mm. folders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a... Um, Derek Duck as well. Mm -hmm. So Derek Duck, I, I, I've done one buttercream and one fondant. So this is a real simple one. It's nice for kids even. I was just going to say, it'd be great for the kids to do yeah, that. Somebody one actually made the duck today, so I'm going to post a picture of that because it was really it was better than mine actually. <laughs> so Derek Duck's a lot easier. Um, and he's quite, he's shorter steps. But they come with that one. And then with the standing style, which is here. Let's pack him back away. Before I get cake all over it. Yeah. Can I give you that one? If you give that to Laura, Laura can sort it this out. This is the standing style one. So if you don't kill yourself while you're doing all that. <laughs> Let me push all that back there. I forgot to push it back. And this one comes with Eddie the Teddy. Oh. Eddie the Teddy. So he's fully piped. And he's a really nice intro to, to the kind of 
um, the kind of mould because as well it's showing how you can change the shape of it with easy things so like for example his ears are just biscuits yeah yeah so you just get yeah, biscuits and stick them in and then he's fully um, buttercream yeah which is quite nice just pipe I mean my piping skills are something to be desired they're awful I'm not a real buttercream kind of person but just shows if I can do it than anyone else can and then you get Enrique the elephant as well oh look at that so he's more advanced and again quite a detailed one and he's a little bit airbrushed or you could dust it just however you want so there's there's two in each mm -hmm. and then the plan is when I mean this launched last week and then my studio set on fire so it might be another couple of weeks before I can do this but my plan is to then release um, further tutorials there'll be a few quid and they'll be they'll come in the post yeah so that's the next day so i'd say every month i'll probably do a tutorial for each of the styles fantastic mm -hmm. but yeah, that's yeah. not to say you know you can do whatever you want with them and you're doing a free tutorial snap on two so they've yeah. got bonus yeah so everybody who's um looking tonight if you've already bought them all from the show fantastic oh yeah you're getting two free tutorials tonight exactly which is great and those of you who haven't bought them all and we hope that you buy one tonight <laughs> there you go. Yeah, please say. So this is just buttercream. Is it Carol? Yeah. <laughs> this is whatever came out of Carol's fridge. <laughs> it says it is a flavour of something that I'd. Uh, oh, is it flavoured? Yeah. Mm. But I put it in the freezer and then. Um, she didn't tell me that she wanted any buttercream, so I said, "Was it out of the freezer for her?" And then she melted it in the microwave. Yeah. Over melted it. So I'm not actually going to put loads in. I'm just going to do a, a quite a thin one just to stick it together, just to show us. But basically, oh, you can see how soft this cake is. Because it's still a bit warm. But obviously if it was cooled down, it's a lot firmer and easier to use. I'm just going to be a bit gentle with it. So you basically put whatever filling you want, stick them together, they'll join up, and then you get these nice... You see the, the contours where the, the arms yeah. and the legs would be and the head. And then that is I've got a flat base. And that Brilliant. just ends up like that. So it's a little bit wobbly actually because he's so soft. Somebody's already asked, can you buy can you buy them tonight? You can buy them off our website tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Molly's got limited stock and she's allowed us to be one of her sellers for her. So we've got stock that we can sell tonight and dispatch tomorrow. It's all in the car, ready to go. All you need to do is go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Laurie, will you tell them I my squeaky just voice? It on. So sugarandcrumbs.co.uk is our website. There is a Facebook wish list, so across the top. Right over to the right hand side is Facebook Live. Drop down into this month's wish list, this month's section, and the wish list will be there. So everything that Molly's using this evening is included in that list. Alternatively, you can search using the search bar at the top of the website page or shop by brand, and everything can be can be um, found there. A couple of people have posted the link already to the Sugar and Crumbs page, so thank you very much for anyone who's done that and beaten me to it. <laughs> um, and I will keep flashing up the Sugar and Crumbs website as we go along. Um, so you'll see that as well as we go through the evening. Um, anyone who can't find, um, who can't stay with us for the full Facebook Live or has missed any bits or needs to jump out, you can watch the full Facebook Live back when we've finished. It will Ooh. be posted to the top of our Facebook page. And it also gets transferred over to our YouTube channel as well, normally um, within a day or two. Um, can you see us in the camera, Maria? <laughs> Are we just going to be in the way? No. Are we going to be in your way? No? It's all right. <laughs> just just making hay. No, it's us. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just us. We're just background. We're more jumping up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yes, anybody. The if it was going to be free advertising for Coca Cola then. <laughs> uh, anyone who. Because they can't... need it. Oh, uh, I know, yeah. <laughs> Do they? No, <laughs> no really, yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyone who's missed any bits or can't join us, you can always catch up. Um, you'll see Maria hovering over Molly's shoulder, and Maria makes the fantastic one-minute um, videos which get uploaded to YouTube. So it's all the really important bits squished into a one-minute video, and again, you can watch them back at any point from YouTube. Okay, the moulds are $29.99, okay? Uh, I know a couple of you asked for those. The prices. Uh, pardon? Is that the prices? Mm. Yeah. So with each set as well, you get all the tutorials that we've just shown, so you get yeah. all the booklets and stuff. It's more of a kit, I think. And Amanda yeah. Hearn, yes, I am munching cake. <laughs> <laughs> They're always interested in what I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the diet of cake people, you just have like whatever's around. Yeah, that's what like. we just have nice big bums, don't we? So we're very... <laughs> 
What? Nothing. There's only Maria who hasn't got a big bum in this kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. No, it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> have something comfy to sit on, haven't we? Oh, I know. So, um, so just to say, we're really pleased to have Molly in the kitchen. She was going to come over on Monday. I think we've already told you enough about what's happened. It's been yeah. a bit of a disaster. In fact, more than a disaster. She has lost her or everything in the kitchen. So she's not been able to bring any Pop models or props or anything. Yeah. Nothing. Pop so um, a big thank you to Renshaw. Molly doesn't live too far away from Renshaw. So they've very kindly helped her out yeah. and loaning her a kitchen to work from. So she doesn't let anybody down with any cakes that she's making. Uh, we did offer her our kitchen, but Renshaw got to us first. Mm -hmm. Plus, she's nearer to them anyhow. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, Molly very kindly rang us back yesterday and said, look, Carol, I need to get a grip. I've got to work. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, there's no point crying. Nobody's, nobody's died. No. I need to get on. I said to your audience I would come on, and I'm going to come on. So very much a professional, and we are very pleased with that. Thanks. So I know you've had three Facebook Lives this week. Been a very very busy week in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. I tell you, I'm knackered. Mm. And then we are over to see Paul Bradford next Monday, and this young lady's following us in. Yay. So as we come out on the Tuesday, she goes in on the Wednesday. How cool is that? Right? Cool. You're very lucky to be following us, aren't you, Mel? <laughs> <laughs> So, hope you all enjoy tonight. The moulds are on the website. Anybody who buys them, they will get dispatched tomorrow. Okay? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll dispatch them out tomorrow. And um, there's two. One's a purple one, one's a blue one. Is that what you're calling them on the side? Well, I called it blue lying down. No, blue. Laying. Laying down. Yeah. And the purple one. Standing. Standing. Yeah, yeah. And it's basically... you. There's as many uses for both. We can chat a bit about the uses. There's more butter cream there. I'll use this for now. This is very, very soft cake. Obviously, with the recipe that I've got in my booklet. <laughs> all my but eggs, to be all fair, I think with a model cake, bone. you should use Madeira anyhow, yeah, shouldn't you? Yeah, this, I mean, and this is really soft. <laughs> Molly has just said that she does normally make a Madeira recipe, yeah. but she has used what was available at Renshaw today, and it's a bit softer than she would normally use. Yeah. But the recipe for it's her own nice recipe one. is in her book, which yeah. you get with the mould. Yeah. So it's an eight egg mix. Um, and we think, you know, I reckon that would serve about 15 to 20 people. Mm. It's a nice size for, you know, children's parties or with for, for business people. It's nice, I think, if people don't have the budget for a big sculpted cake and they can maybe afford, you know. 75 quid mm, so and nice. making one of these and yeah. then you don't have to carve it as well so you're not charging the time so i'm giving this a really nice thin crumb coat because you don't need to do a lot of a crumb coat on these and the other thing is we're very lucky to have the molds because molly actually thought they were up on fire on monday yeah and thankfully her mother had taken them upstairs she hadn't put them in the studio so that was ever so lucky they were in my old bedroom yeah they don't <laughs> so, smell a smoke no they don't smell a smoke i've had a sniff of them all tonight <laughs> yeah. that's what she said do you want to smell these <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know do you i think my hair might smell like that <laughs> I mean, how to meet oh. someone? How to meet someone? Do you want to smell these molds? Can you smell me, Penny? Do I smell? Do I smell like fire? Yeah, my cat really smelled. She doesn't now. I've heard her out. Oh, bless her. You know, you just get on with it, don't you? Yeah. Nobody's died. So she was very lucky that what she had left in moulds, she's brought over here. So we have only got limited stock, guys, if you want them. Yeah. Um, Molly is going to reorder some more tomorrow. Yeah. So it will be May before you can get your hands on them again. Yes, it will be May. So I'm giving these a little bit of a crumb coat, and obviously you would like to pop, pop these in the fridge for a little bit to firm up. Do you want them to go in the fridge now? Um, no. Have you got a big fridge here? Maybe that one. We'll yeah. pop that one in. Yeah. Be careful, it's got a... You don't put a lot of buttercream on, do you? I don't. No. no. Good. But, you know. Do you want a cloth for this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maria's on it. Maria. <laughs> and a dry one, please. Oh, she's on that as well. She's mm. good, are Maria? She is good. She knows, don't you? So we'll do... Well, look at her. We'll she does all the, the um... filming, moves the cameras, gets all the props. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> You're like a nice assistant, nice cake assistant. <laughs> So we'll do the, um, the Easter, we'll start with Should we want that cake. unicorn cake though afterwards? Yeah, that's your payment. <laughs> so, I've got some grey abundant here. It's probably too much as well. Fiona McCann just said, oh, what time is it? Um, oh, we can't say it yet. I'll no. say it later. Is it a really good thing? <laughs> no, joking. She just said her husband came in and thought it was a willy mould. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Imagine making I said it very fast. 
thing Sorry again. that is like the, 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 we tried so many ways of designing it. Um, so not a bit of a like fun though, isn't it? No, yeah, no. And it needs to be that shape because it needs the body mm. and the head. Um, my boyfriend designed them. That's okay. right. So he's a product designer. Right. I'm a, obviously a creative type. Oh. So we came up with them together. Um, so he did all the, you know, all the 3D designs and yeah. stuff like that. We did it together over the space of, well, probably about six months. Right. All the designs and me sat next to him and drinking wine. And <laughs> it was quite nice, actually. But yeah, it's, it's great to work as a team. Yeah. So um, he's my head of design. Oh. <laughs> yep, so you'll notice Maria's got a jumper on again tonight. You've been in every part, every kit this week, haven't you? A t-shirt on with your moustache on earlier in the week, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Mine, it was gorgeous <laughs> today, though. Do you know, it's been, it's been really nice. After, like, mid-morning, mm -hmm. it's been absolutely gorgeous. We had all the office doors open and everything. Oh, Windows nice. open. Yeah. I've only been outside for a while today. <laughs> you do, though, when you do cakes, don't you? You, just, you don't even get yeah. outside. You just... It's a funny old world. It's been a, I couldn't tell you what day it was. What, today? Yeah. Yeah. Thursday? <laughs> Wednesday. On Wednesday, right? Not, not Don't Thursday, miss that flight yeah. next week. Oh, God. Yes, I know. Well, my mum's quite good at that. She organises my life. <laughs> and Dean. We went round Thailand and like I wasn't allowed to hold my own passport because I was just so irritated. <laughs> or any of the money or anything. So I'm rolling this out. I roll fairly thick with, with um, sculpted cakes because I think it gives you more leeway in terms of, you know, the ins and outs. And that, I would, I think that's probably, what, how, would you say that was about a kilo and a half? Mm. Something like that. It's probably too much, but you're better off than not having enough. And I will say, this is how I do it as well. Like, people roll thinner, thicker, you know. I'm not a perfectionist. Yeah, I mean, actually, I'm always interested to see how people do that. I've never actually, would ever have thought of putting sugar paste on like that. This way. Yeah. So I do it this way with the standing one, but you can do it over the top. So let me answer side, a couple of questions. Yeah. Okay. So a couple of questions that well let me just say all our Facebook live people are watching. Hello Catalina. Hello Rob Allen. Hello um, Jackie Heaton, Bacon Nana. So they've all been in here this week. Oh Bacon Nana, I know her. Yeah, she's great fun, isn't <laughs> she's she? Great. <laughs> Let's see her at like Cake and Bake Show. Oh, she's a fabulous lady. She's really very good. And Rob Allen, and we, they're just very down to earth people, great yeah. people to have in. Catalina was great fun. So just to say, a few of you have already bought the mould, which is fantastic. Are they both eight egg mixes, I'm being asked? Yes. Amanda Hearn's asking. I think if you was to measure them, like the laying one might be a little bit smaller. So that might take a little bit less, but you just never know. You never know how big your eggs are, I suppose. No. no. So um, just try it out. This one might be a little bit bigger. Yeah. The, I mean, it's, yeah. there's still some development to come with the testing. and the, I mean, they're all tested, but I mean, they're brand new. Yeah. So let me just tell you guys, on the website, go to our website page, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. At the top, you have got Facebook Live wish list. So if you go to the wish list, drop down to this month with Molly in it, and it's a creature creative. So it's called Molly Robbins Cre Creature creator yeah okay and then you've got the two options so just let you all know um if there's any newbies here please put your thumbs up uh, thumbs up to let us know that you're here let us know where you are in the world do remember we are not making these cakes for sale okay <laughs> so what goes on in this kitchen goes on in this kitchen so yes we've got our hair down Yes, we might touch our face, but you know what? It's just because we want to all look nice in the kitchen, okay? So don't be distressed about any of it. It's not for <laughs> sale. You know, if I was cooking Sunday lunch for all my friends, I certainly wouldn't be pinning my hair up or putting anything on. So let's just have a little bit of fun in the sugar and crumbs kitchen, okay? And enjoy yourselves. <laughs> the only people eating this cake is Laura, Maria myself and the lads in the warehouse tomorrow who will be extremely happy they're not for resale i hope we're not going to end up yeah. poisoned <laughs> <laughs> in case when your hair drops on it i'm sure it will taste fabulous <laughs> so we are normal people okay we all washed our hands before we came into the kitchen yeah. but like i say the kitchen here there's nothing for sale in here this is a demo so please enjoy the demo <laughs> So, I've covered that now, and I mean, if I wanted to, I'd spend ages blending that seam in. Yeah. I do it with water sometimes, but I'm just going to do yeah. it. Yeah. 
It's good to see how you put that on quite yeah. quick, that, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd be scared to do it like that. Yeah, I, I, don't I do think wish I'd that the cake wasn't try. warm, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is how to use it with a warm cake. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, Molly has had to use um, another kitchen today. Renshaw have been very kindly offered Molly her kitchen, uh, yeah. their kitchen, and she's baked, and literally she's ran over there, prepared herself, and then she's come straight over. It's a long drive from there to here, it's a good hour or so. Yeah. And then she's had to bring a hot cake straight out of the oven. <laughs> so it's only sort of just a, well, it is nice. It's warm. I mean, I'm it's eating. Warm. Look at Maria. I she's know. still eating warm I'll cake. Catch you on camera then, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> catch her. Yeah. yeah, let's catch her even more. Hang on. There you go. Big mouthful of cake. <laughs> Do you care? No, you no. don't. <laughs> Tastes so good. So this we'll is get first... told off now for eating cake. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first leg going on. The rabbits, they have quite a big foot. This is the Easter bunny we're making. So you've got quite a big foot. I'm going to stick that on. And we'll attach that. Because you have these nice guides that have become essentially like the sort of thigh shape. So that's where you're going to stick your leg onto. So there's one. Can you see that? Yeah. I forgot what you're making. Easter bunny. Easter bunny, that's it. Yeah, well, it could be any bunny. Yeah. yeah. The nice thing with the Easter bunnies, if, you, if we were more organised, is you can do them like holding an Easter egg. Yeah. Like an actual Easter egg. I've got a giant one. I was thinking that doesn't look like a unicorn, but we're making the unicorn next, aren't we? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we're letting him chill out in the fridge for a minute. So I'm making these feet. So I'll get the links for you for Molly's moulds because I know some of you are asking. Oh, to be fair, Rob, Rob, you're you're behind the computer. Please help me out, Rob, and put the links on to each of the moulds. They're in the wish list. Are you doing it now? Will you know when it's sold? If they sell out, will it tell us? If it sells out, why are you going to let me have some more? If I've got no money, how many more? So it's little. I'm going to rob your next supplier. Yeah, well, you'll have to package them yourself, and trust me. A long time. So I've wrapped every single one in tissue paper <laughs> and then put a sticker on and then but you know what? I quite like a repetitive task. <laughs> so you can use this dresden tool just to blend a little bit. I like a dresden. So is feet the same size? How yeah. thick is the icing sugar to wrap around? How thick would you have rolled that? I roll it, I reckon they say six mil, don't they? I reckon I do have must do about eight. Yeah. I do it thicker. Yeah. Um I think it's personal preference, isn't it? Like I think it's what you're used to using and how you prefer. Sometimes I like to do a thicker paste because you can get a texture in it. Mm. So if I wanted to, I'm not going to do this because we'd be here for hours, but you could do the fur texture all over it and then you've got this nice thick paste that you can um, yeah. make the fur texture. So you can see already it looks quite a big cake now already. Mm. Once you've yeah. got the ears on and the arms and stuff, it's quite a substantial size cake. And Stacey Sedwick, Sedwick, you're going to have to wait for the new flavours. We're not telling you it yet. They should be out Ooh. at the end of April, first week in May, we're hoping. Ooh. And you're not allowed to say what they are? Yeah. No, keep tell them all waiting. Well, we can tell them if we want to. It tastes yeah. good, though, don't they? But no, we're not going to tell them. I said we could tell them if we want oh, right. to, but we don't want to, do we? No, <laughs> no. we're going to keep them waiting, you see. See, they've just had a massive sale. So they bought all the flavours, so we need to have a reason of why they need to buy some more at the end of the month. That's true. <laughs> We've got to get wet so we're not telling them now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be like the little belly, the pink belly. I might do this with scissors actually, it's a bit easier. Um, just to give it some colour really, but you could do this in blue. These, the bunny one's quite nice for like christening or a baby shower as well. That's a good idea. And you can change the colour. Yeah. You could do your gender reveal, or if you mm. don't know the gender, you could do a half pink, half blue. Yeah, Ooh. that's nice, yeah. That's a really good idea because doing a doing a mould of a 3D cake is a challenge enough. Yes. But then a very simple idea is to do two different colours, like you said. Yeah. It's really nice when you cut into it. It's yeah. different again, and it's a simple way of doing a very very good effect. Yeah, and it's like it's like you know sometimes with a cake, it's nice to have something exciting on the inside yeah, as well as the outside. Definitely. And then you can put your flavour buttercreams. Yes. Yeah. So that's gonna be the be the tummy, and then I'm gonna put a little bow tie on there. Uh, so everybody the said they don't care that you've got your hair down, they would eat Perfect. it. Yeah. One lady said she'd be really happy if you rubbed your face all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and we know, who that, we know who that was, don't we? That was Kaz Gibson. She oh, said, God. you go and rub your face all over it, she'd eat it. Oh, <laughs> so, sweet. Everybody else says they don't care. So you carry on flicking your hair. Just remember, everybody, we are only playing in the kitchen. 
The only people who are going to be eating that is Laura, myself, and Maria, and the warehouse lads tomorrow. All this right, is a fun live. Pardon? All right, Pete. <laughs> yeah. So I'm rolling out a sausage now. This is going to be the arms. Um, and we're going to, I think we'll do the bunny holding a carrot. Yeah, well, that'd be nice, won't it? It's nice for it to hold something. So these are going to be the arms. They're probably about right. And because you've got these, like, these contours here, it shows where the arms are joined onto. So you can kind of... So we've only got limited stock of the moulds. I'll be honest with you, we've only got 25 of each, okay? Sorry. That's all Molly could <laughs> allow us to have. Um, she sold out a lot of the moulds at Cake, Interna Cake International, but this is all she could allow us to have. So she's let us have 50 moulds. So if you want them, do not wait to the end of the week. I will reckon that they will be gone by morning. So get online, get them bought if you want them. Mm. Otherwise, there's no more coming in until May. Sorry. That shows, though, that people like it. Which is yeah, great. I absolutely. I think I doubted myself a bit much. Yeah. But now, you know, the way I look at it was if I if, if I didn't design these moulds, I would buy them because I think they're such a time saver and a stress yeah. saver, and especially if you're doing... There's a few people on here saying hi. There's Anna, Lidley, Lydia. She says she met you at the show. She bought your moulds there. There's oh, quite a few people saying they you. bought them at the show, which was fantastic. That's amazing. Rob, is very, Rob Allen is very kindly pop, popping on the links, and he said he didn't have his hair down, and somebody said no because you haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, Anyhow, let's just have fun in the kitchen, everybody. Yeah. Wine? <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, wine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm blending these arms in. And then I'm sort of making this up as I go along, really. But we'll give him a little carrot, I think, with some orange here. So, I mean, a lot of this that I use is just a straight wrench out of packet. Yeah, I don't. You don't need to add a lot of stuff no. into it. You don't so just them. to let you know, we are using all Renshaw sugar paste tonight, apart from one. And I have to say, it, sorry Renshaw, but I didn't have any white here in the kitchen. Send so, us some over. Yeah, send us some over for free. We would love some. Mm -hmm. But um, we are using lots of Renshaw in here tonight. Uh, we're using that. We're basically using their um, rollout icings. That's what we're using. We're not using any of the flower modeling paste. But we are using Select Island White, which Molly has mixed with black to make this grey. So she's used Renshaw Black, yeah. and she's used, she's mixed that with the Select Island White, and she's uh, made this lovely grey colour. Um, but the orange and the, the pink is Select Island, but the orange is um, Renshaw. Yeah. The green here is Renshaw. We've got a brown, we've got a blue, we've got a teddy brown. So we're doing our best, Renshaw. We're using plenty of your stuff. So I'm going to put a little stalk on this carrot. just to. I just like making little things. I like being over at the academy. I've been to several classes there. It's amazing, isn't it? You should come yeah. to some of mine, Carol. Yeah. I'm have a good time. So I'm doing some demo nights there with the Creature Creator coming up, I think, oh, yeah. in June. And I'm also doing a pug class. Oh, right, yeah. carved pug class, yeah. which is quite a nice one. That's a nice introduction. Some of my classes are suitable for like complete beginners, which is great because I like a beginner market. I think yeah. I like to teach people that. Well, don't I know. think the way that you're making this cake here, I think I could make this. It's yeah, fantastic. I, I'm not being funny. Watching you do it, it's looking yeah. great, but it's actually, I think, very easy to pull together. Yeah. And you, you don't, it's while you're watching it, it's like, oh my goodness, it's, right, yeah, it's okay. come together so quickly. <laughs> yeah. When you said at the beginning you were going to do two cakes, I was thinking, we've only got two hours, but <laughs> yeah. we're actually, I can't believe how much you've flown through. So the links yeah. have been posted several times, so those, people, <laughs> yeah, so those people who want the links, just scroll up and down the comments, you will find them. Does that mean people are buying it? Thanks them? everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah people I'm are buying, buying it. it, they've already said they've got my it in the shopping basket, they bought it. I need the money to I need two new KitchenAids because they're gone. Uh, my airbrush is gone. My all my sugar paste is gone. All my boxes, all my ingredients are gone. All my pennies are gone. Oh bless! Do you feel sorry for me? Go on the pity vote, can't we? <laughs> so buy my mould, or I won't have a house. <laughs> <laughs> Be homeless and jobless. No, but true. In fair, in fair enough, what she said to me yesterday when she rang me, she said, "Look, Carol, I've got to get back to work. At the end of the day, I've got a job. I've got, I've got, I've got cakes. I've got to get out. Yeah. I don't want to let people down. No. You know. And I, I thought that was amazing. You know, after what happened on Monday, to then actually ring and yeah. say, "Listen, I've got to pull myself together." 
I've got to be here. I don't want to let your audience down. And I just thought that was fantastic. So well, well done, was Molly. So nice. I joined the um, group and everyone was like lovely. Yeah, and well done, Sugar and Crumbs group as well, because you all gave her a massive big welcome. Yeah. If you're not a member of the Sugar and Crumbs community group, please do join it. Do remember it is the Sugar and Crumbs community group. It is about cake. That's what it's called. It's called All About Cake. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's what we're talking about over there. Um and and it's about sugar and crumbs as well. You know, we're the ones who do the lives for you every week. Do you know we've been doing lives now nearly two and a half years? Wow. So two years, four months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Two years, four months, we've been doing lives every Monday. Wow. And that's without all the other lives that we do for people. We don't charge for anything at all. We do it all free. Amazing. All our tutors come in free. Even Molly is over here free. Yeah, Unless she gives me a bill afterwards, but... <laughs> In then we'll have to break the, break the bad news. Sorry, Mol. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what we love. We get massive amounts of support from people. And in return, we support the people who come and yeah. you know, do the demos for us. That's and great. our customers really appreciate it as well. Shall we just turn that around? So where can I turn that Definitely. so we can no, see? All right, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Go on, go on, Laurie. Sorry, I interrupted no, sorry, you. There. I was just saying we have a massive amount of support, both from our community group, the the Facebook page in general, and we also get lovely emails and you know messages from people just to say thanks for their order. You know, it's yeah, a simple nice. email, but it's it it really does mean a lot to us. Keeps yeah. it really personal. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then also the feedback we get at shows and things like that. People come and see us specifically just to say hello. Yeah, I tell you what so is lovely. I tell you what is nice. Not only do we get a hell of a lot of support on the group and on the Facebook page, and I know you've just said this, Laura, all the personal emails, yeah. but the fact that people do go to that trouble to write you yeah. a lovely email. And we had a bit of a one last week, and so many people have wrote to us and said, Carol, keep your chin up. You're doing a good job. Oh. So you're doing a good job, you know, and, you know, I've, it's, it's just how it is. It's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so nice to have a nice supportive community yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of different communities oh there's there. leslie starkey i met her at the show hello leslie hi leslie did you know leslie no I was just saying right just, <laughs> just i will tell you that there's um between 500 and 600 people watching oh my, tonight yeah. which is good that's a lot isn't it yeah that's a lot of people Whew. Yeah, all watching you, Molly. I know, I feel Don't pressure. bend down too low, though, will you? <laughs> we'll have another audience watching in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's already she's getting there, this, this bunny. Yeah, she's looking beautiful. We made some brown. This is the chocolate flavour brown. This is the one you like, uh, I think we might be out of stock of our moulds. No way. What? Potentially. Which one? Standing. Standing. Oh, sorry, the one I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> So these are going to be the eyes, we'll stick the eyes on. Guys, if you've got moulds in your shopping basket as well, can you check out and buy them if you're yeah. going to buy them? I think that's the problem. Yeah. If you put them in the basket and don't buy them, it causes me a problem and it means that I have to clear your baskets later on tonight. Ooh. So please, if you're going to buy them, please check out and buy. If you don't buy them and just leave them sat there in the, ba in the basket, the basket, they yeah. will take it out of my stock and you then do ruin it for anybody else who actually wants one. Yeah. So I will have to send an email to my web developer straight after the live to say clear everybody's basket. You'll get so, legs. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing. We, it's just a nightmare when people put things in their basket. They don't yeah. realise it's taken out of stock. Yeah, especially because we've got such a small stock as well. Yeah. But, you know, it won't be this small forever. I think we've had a little mini setback with the blaze, as yeah. we should call it. So we've only got 25 of each mould. Mm -hmm. Unless I get down to her house and start packing them myself tomorrow, which I think me and Laura might have to do that. <laughs> I don't have any to set. That, 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 I've got anything. Got. Is that all you've got? Yeah, I haven't got anything. <laughs> all we've got. Yeah, the sanding's going. Ooh. I'm not going to check out with him. I'm giving him some little eyebrows. I'm just going to count. I'll, see. I'll be able to tell you if they're out of stock. But I'll just check the orders. This cake, like how long has this cake taken? Well, it's only on? 10 to 9 now, but we had a good 10 or 15 minute introduction. Yeah. So, so half an half hour? Half an hour, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Hmm. And you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want, yeah. really. You can do whatever you like. The standing one as well. I mean, if you look at my Creature Creator website, mollyscreaturecreator.com, you can see examples of all the different things you can make with it. Mm -hmm. um, 
you can do human figures with this one so you can do like a santa claus oh, you can do a little brilliant. girl you can do elves um we we're doing what we we're doing easter chicks there's loads and loads of different stuff you can do so she's got i mean i don't know whether her eyes have gone west because i can't see but no they're looking good it's nice i'm doing it backwards so exactly we'll allow you that allow me <laughs> so ears i'm going to make on the board and then i'm going to stick them on so i'm going to make them here as you can probably tell, I'm the messiest worker in the whole world. You carry on, make as much mess as you want. Mm, don't worry. I just sort of sweep. And carry on. <laughs> yeah, but it's annoying to watch, isn't it? Like, can you see all this mess? Is this on the camera? No, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry that about it. That is really bad. So, look, it, without ears, it looks a bit like a seal, which you can make with the other style, <laughs> which I'm going to do in a minute. So, for anyone that's kind of unsure about whether to get the moulds, I say, you're saving yourself quite a lot of money, saving yourself a lot of time, you're saving yourself the stress of, is the head going to stay on? Yes. Because um, we've all been there, oh I've been there, <laughs> <laughs> oh I've been there. Um, and it's just a nice, it's a nice fun way as well, if anyone's, you know, got kids that are interested in baking, that's really the only way they can do the sculpted cakes, because they're, they can't yeah. carve with a knife, as long as you get a grown up to do the, um, the initial first cut, that's it, that's all the kind of grown up bits needed so i think it's a nice safe way for kids to have a go definitely and you can also do um i mean not officially because i don't want to get sued but you know all the children's characters yes so the uh certain program about dogs that work yeah as firemen or whatever yeah it is. <laughs> that kind of thing or some of the ones with that nice black mouse that wears yep. yellow shoes <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. naming any names. You certainly uh, put your own spin on yeah. the different characters. Yeah. Yeah. So these are going to be the ears. And if you wanted to, you could put some skewers in them. And, and oh, right, just to keep them supported. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to do them floppy because it's easier. And we like a bit of ease, don't we? Oh, so see, straight away, that has literally just got the cute factor. Even with one ear. Yeah. <laughs> I like cute. I do cute. I don't do... You know, some people do like gory horror scary i'm not good at that i mean i appreciate it for an arty kind of thing but i think if you're wondering why i'm quiet i'm just checking the baskets Ooh. so of what that's what has been sold oh you naughty people with your baskets full sarah mosley's just put if you could all take them out of your basket even if you do want them that would be great thanks <laughs> People are buying them now, that's so cool. Yeah, absolutely. I feel a bit like I'm on QVC. <laughs> <laughs> we have dedicated followers, honestly, Molly. What will happen is people have their phone and their iPad. No. So they watch on one device and buy on the other. That's I'm not awesome. joking. I'm not joking. Oh, that's so cool, though. It really is. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bow on her head because I like doing bows. Oh, she looks cute. I'm looking at it <laughs> from from Maria's so camera. I can see the front of it. <laughs> And then I'm going to give her some... Um, Can you just spin around again to this one for me? Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oops. Just so we can get a shot. I mean, if I had more time, I'd blend these joins in. And the way I blend the joins as well is I just um, like spray it with water. And just oh, rub it in. okay. Um, but you can take as much time. Or if you do the fur texture, it'll blend the seams in. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff we do in sculpted cakes is sort of hiding seams and joins. Yeah. And, a little nicely placed flower or bow tie yes. here and there. You've got to do it, haven't you? And I think that's why, to be honest, a lot of people are scared of sculpted cakes. But actually, the cakes that scare me are the, the really intricate, you know, the um, sharp edge. Yes. Simplistic Clean lines and everything. That's terrifying. Yeah. I wouldn't do that for a million pounds. Well, I couldn't because I wouldn't be good enough. But um, you can't just, you know, stick a bow tie on it if, it's, if you put your thumb through it. A random flower. Right. Yeah. It, looks like, it looks like we've got 12 moulds left what, from 10? the whole 50. <laughs> so I've counted 38. And it looks like you're only going to bow. God help us when we, she does the unicorn because that's what oh, we've got no. left. And we've got the sitting there. So the standing is sold out. So the stand, it looks like <laughs> the standing is sold out. Like so when that. she... Yeah, yeah, no, we do, we do. Very well. <laughs> yeah. So the standard is. Thinking I was popular. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's us, isn't it, Laura? Yeah. You only come and listen. It's, it's us three, just, isn't it? It's answer. because it's because you're in it's because so. you're in our sugar and crumbs kitchen. No, I feel them. Um, so. Um, these are the 
Thank you, everybody. I think Molly's a bit overwhelmed that we've sold them in. Well, we've done a 15 minute intro and in 40 minutes, we've sold 38 molds, <laughs> which is amazing. Gosh. So if anybody wants the one for doing the unicorn, I suggest you get back on it pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna make that in a minute. Yeah. Bow going on. Oh, look at oh, that. Look at that. She Isn't is. she beautiful? Maria, you in love? Mm, yeah. Hey. And then I'm gonna do. To, to Which one are you gonna take home? I don't know. Both. Oh, both. <laughs> I'm gonna do some. Well, I will let you know that Maria be having one and Laura can have one. Yeah. I've scoffed enough cake in here tonight. I've got all the offcuts. <laughs> I think um, if I'm lucky enough Your to purchase kids. the mold. Your kids, your nephews would love one of oh, these. Oh yeah, definitely. Maria will have to have the unicorn. You'll have to have the ten. Because they're boys. You've got boys, haven't you? Oh, nice. So you could do like dinosaurs. Yeah, I um, think I think this will be our Easter gen cake thing. though, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think you'll be allowed to buy a mould. You might get I shot. I know, that's what I'm saying. I don't actually think I'll be lucky enough to buy a mould. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these eyelashes. How are you putting these on? So the eyelashes, I Are these going to be as good as yours, Mum? Yeah, we could just get a, a nice <laughs> set of eyelore eyelashes from Boots and just stick them on. I think that um, people go a bit mad. Sorry. So I can push it over just there. Blocked your view now, Carol. Yeah, no, it's all right. I I've can see that. My big head. I've got no, a massive don't worry. Head. If anyone was literally, I've got a really big head. So, um, if it blocks it, I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> so I'm just. We're trying to block a few other things at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I've got don't worry, it's big fine. Big, big it's okay. Does anybody flash your pass on Facebook? We'll be wondering what the hell they're doing in Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I've got small ears <laughs> and that's about it. I might. Those eyelashes are great. Yeah, they're mm. just little. Um, just I can't believe how you pulled that together. What do you think, everyone? How quick has she pulled this together? It's not my best work, but. I'm yeah, but to you, I'm going to use that for you. Well, but no, okay. what you need to remember is we're trying to do a demo here very quickly to show people. Yeah. yeah. And you've just this pulled. Thing. It's you've not... just pulled this together. So with a little, this is absolutely amazing. I'd be well chuffed for that. It's incredible. I'd be well chuffed for you. <laughs> amazing. And I just think if you're kind of in two minds as to whether to get it, as long as you, you know you buy the mold, and if you if you're running it as a business, sell the cake, the first cake for more than thirty quid, and it's paid for itself. Yeah, you've done it. exactly. Yeah, you've done it. So yeah, there she exactly. is. She looks a little wow. bit confused. She doesn't quite know where she is, but. <laughs> You know, she's, she's in there. the sugar and crumbs kitchen. She's what do you all adorable. think, everybody? No, I like the colour Adorable. Thank you. Wow. Come on, you've got to get those love ups. To be fair, there's been love ups going on now. Yeah. Oh. It's been absolutely amazing. What do we think, everyone? I'll have to watch this when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> she looks cute. What do we think? I'm right, so the, the standing too. up mould is out of stock. I am sorry. Oh. We've got oh, some God. laid down she ones, which... Molly is going to make a unicorn. There's only there's only a few though. How many is left of the standard? Well, we sold thirty eight five minutes ago, so I don't know. Twelve. Well, we've got twelve. That was five ten minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> so you can't we will be. Yet. It might be rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> we will be getting them back in stock. I'm sorry if it's rubbish. We will be getting them back in stock, but I don't know when. <laughs> Can I have a piece of cake, please? Oh, of course. Yeah. Rubbish. What would you like? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant this one. I'm just eating. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant this one. I just see it. It's gonna go. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, oh, I need that. <laughs> so we'll put her there so she can watch. Yeah. And give general Easter vibes, and then this is firmed up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah. She just needs to cool down. Hot cake never worked with hot cake. Like it doesn't because all the flour in it hasn't solidified. It gets a lot stronger, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. And um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just watch. You got a bit of crumbs on there. Oh, nice. Well, that not matter? Nice. <laughs> you know. Right, okay. Okay, so slightly different with this one. What I'm going to do, I'll show you, I'll do it afterwards actually, is I'll show you how you can change the shape if it of the won't, face. Of the just shape. let me tell you, if it won't let you check out, it's because it's probably sold out. <gasps> I am going to look in the stock at the moment. I can, at the moment, I will tell you, 10 minutes ago there was 38 sold and paid for. I know that. We only had 50. Oh, I have to be silent. really honest. We are going to chase Mo Molly all the way down the M62 and raid her house and see if she's got any more for you, just in case. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll do what I can, but we will get them on order for you. As soon as they come back in stock, we will get them on order for you. So I am sorry. I don't know about the lay down one. Somebody's saying they're already out of stock as well. Is it? 
I don't know. But you know what? The good thing is you're getting a free demo here. That's yeah. let's be positive. Yeah. You're getting a free demo. You've got very you've got time to have a think yeah. about which one you want. And I know when we finish this live, I know when we finish this live, you are all going to want one. <laughs> so especially when Maria's done her one minute videos. Yeah. And the last one has just sold. Let me just see. Oh, wow. I bet they won't be able to. Um, <laughs> I wonder if they want me to shout the name out. Who bought the last one? Ooh. Is it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> who wants to know who the last one is? Oh, no. There might be like a cat fight or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't want to beat you up. The house might get robbed. Yeah. We're <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sending them a private message to the highest bidder for the mould. <laughs> but it's so lovely, like. It, this has been a solo I mean of me and Dean like it's been me from from the word go yeah. like there's not been anyone else involved in the manufacture it's all been me all the boxes everything come from East Lancashire so that's quite nice yeah, yeah. Local. Um, yeah. there's no plastics used in it at all so everything's you know really eco as eco-friendly as possible we even use um like the biodegradable bags at the show we wow. use because that's something that I'm really interested yeah. in. Um, obviously, it's silicon, which is um, actually made out of glass. Right, like? so let me just oh. tell you, according to the website, I know that we've definitely sold 44, but Ooh. the website says we're sold out, so that means six of you have got them hanging around in your basket. Get them out of your get, basket. <laughs> either get them out of your basket so somebody else can have them, or, or, or buy them. Yeah, or they're in the process of paying. Yeah, so. they could be in the process. Of, well, no, it says they're out of stock. Right, so it means okay. that they are sat in baskets. Mm. So I, what will happen is when we finish the live tonight, I will add everything up. And then if they're not sold, I will ask my web developer to clear everyone's baskets. Your so I can get the last few back in. Back in. Anyway, let's watch what we're doing here. So this is the, the, the laying down one. This is the unicorn. I call this the ghost. Yes, yeah, so you have done that nice and thick, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I have, yeah. I mean, you mm. can do it thinner. I notice Paul does this nice and thick as well. Yeah, it just I think it's just personal. I mean, I'm one of those people that never learned the proper way of doing anything. <laughs> so <laughs> I know it's... you come into cake baking, anyhow? Um, I did a fine art degree, I trained in fine art, and then I did... I was a special effects artist. So we did a lot of, like, um, human figure modelling, sculpting... Um, Prosthetics, stuff like that, working mm. with airbrushes right. a lot, working with like latex and stuff. So it just kind of, I don't know, like I think that field is a very dog eat dog kind of mm. world, people mm. working in films and stuff. It's quite a male dominated industry, mm. and personally, I'm quite actually quite introverted and quite, I'm not really pushy. No. So I think you, ha you have to be quite pushy in certain industries. and. I just prefer, like, I like to work in on my own. Mm. <laughs> it's quite nice. I like my own company and I just... But what, I made, like you think cake work? what made you think cake? Um, at the time, it was suddenly getting a bit of a resurgence and there was things like um, Cake Boss and, you know, Ace of Cakes and mm. all that American programmes. And we just found, me and my mum used to watch it and just find it really interesting. And I just thought, well, that looks fun. I like making stuff. So even when I'm I like that, cake, that you're using the Dresden tool to cut round. I just like use whatever's around. Me. Yeah. Um... I like making things, so I've always liked making things out of clay. If I'm not, if I rarely get a chance, I'll, you know, make things out of clay and gifts of people. Mm. I'm quite crafty, I think. So it's a nice way, I think, of being creative every day and doing something different every yeah. day. Because when I was working as a makeup artist, which is from my degree, I was, you don't get the glamorous film jobs that you think you're going to get when yeah. you're doing your degree. I was, I was working on like antiques programs and powdering down bald blokes heads on game shows yeah. so I think watching it is bald but you can't have a shiny head on telly so no no so that's and what you I need to earn a living so yeah that's what I was doing so you can see the back of here you get this nice leg contour and a shape just yeah and you... you're just literally just yeah. going through that yeah yeah just going through it again so it gives it that nice back leg shape because I know it, it can be complicated with four-legged animals, like especially horses, the, the knee is on the back. Yeah. So it's the other way around. So you can get that a bit wrong sometimes. So what I'm going to add on to here, if you want, you can use a bit of Tylo in this to stiffen it. But I'm just going to add it on and see how it works. And I've never used this sugar paste before. 
And um, yeah. what size cake drum is that you've got? That's that a 14. 14? 14. 14. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You can fit it onto a 12, this yeah. size, but I think 14 is nice because we're going to do in line down, so the legs are going to come round and the tail. Mm. It's yeah. nice to have a little bit of room. So the sugar paste that we're using tonight, we're using mainly Renshaw. Um, that's because Molly goes over there and she does work alongside with Renshaw, so she's used to using all their products. Yeah. Um, I wasn't organised today and asking Molly what she needed for the demo. In fact, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was too busy thinking about my roof and new set of stairs that I've had in our building. Ooh. So if you'd saw me at four o'clock, five o'clock this afternoon, I looked as though I'd just come out the <laughs> chimney sweep, didn't we, Laura? <laughs> so, but I'll, I will tell you, our building is looking amazing. Yeah, it is. I've never, I've never known a bunch of staff, including myself, who look so proud <laughs> at our inside of our building. Even Maria popped down this morning. She was going, ooh, ooh. It's very and impressive. the staff got a new staff room as well, so they're all yeah. really happy. Um, so, anyhow, I didn't ask Molly. So she is, I know some of you have asked what she's using. So the white that she's using is Select Island. It's a new sugar paste that we brought in from Ireland. We're giving it a try. So I don't know what she thinks of it. Probably can't say actually what she thinks of it, but that's what we're using. I'm a Renshaw girl. I'm not, <laughs> so amazing. Molly is a Renshaw girl. So, uh, but all the other colors, so everything else that we're using is Renshaw. And mm -hmm. um, what we did do, we did put some Renshaw black with the Select Island for... Um, Money to make a grey for the bunny. But everything else, oh, the pink select island as well, isn't it? But everything else we're going to be using is Renshaw. So the black, the yellow, the, the orange, the green. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be using some other colors on here as well. I've lost my glue. This is why I'm so messy over glue stuff. Um, there's okay. a new jar of the pink. Oh, oh, that's the pink there. Yeah. So you'll see that I've added on this kind of nose piece. You can add on shapes to change the shape because the, the head come out of the mold completely round. So if you think about it as like a skull, you can work on top of it. You mm. can change the shape, like the bunny, you can add cheeks. Yeah. The, the horse, you can add a, a longer nose and just blend it in. Um, you can change the shape as much as you want, really. This will be the next tutorial. I think we'll do the unicorn because they're really popular. Very popular, yeah. Kids and yeah, people love the unicorns. It's a nice way of showing off different colors as well. I know whenever we do um, really kind of colourful cakes but with rainbow dust we use a lot of unicorn styles because it shows the products yeah. off really nicely like the um, metallic paints which we use mm -hmm. So what Molly's showing you here, um, you'll see Maria in this background. She will be making one minute videos of the two um, cakes that Molly is making this evening. I know so many of you have missed out on the moulds, but we will get them back in. As soon as Molly has got stock, we will um, get them back in. I did say at the beginning of the live, I did only have 50. Um, Molly has just done a cake show in Birmingham and she actually sold most of her stock at the show. She was actually so pleased at how well received it was. It was amazing yeah, for you, I wasn't didn't it? Know, and it was nice. It's a tiny know. little show and look how well you did. Could you imagine if you were at Birmingham? I will be at Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I needed some other people to help me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we will get them back out. As soon as Molly gets them back in, you're thinking, May, you'll have them, won't you? Yeah. 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 So as soon as Molly's got them back in, do not worry. We will have them on the website straight away. Yeah. So well done to all of those who've got them. They will be dispatched tomorrow. We'll get them out to you. Um, and all I can say is thank you very much. And I think Molly is actually overwhelmed that she sold so it's many. So Even she said it feels like a QVC program tonight. Yeah. We've sold that many that fast. Great. So thank you everyone. Like jewelry as well. Yeah. <laughs> so even if you didn't get one, don't disappear. Continue watching the live. Yeah. I know we've got a massive audience. Do enjoy it because at the end of the day, she's going to show you some te techniques here yeah. free of charge, which is brilliant. We can answer some questions as well. If yeah. Any yeah, we can do some questions. Kind of questions about I don't know. Have you actually, you haven't got any on your website to sell either, have you? I have in a pre-order, yeah. You can, yeah. Right. Pre you can pre-order on what Molly's website, but they won't, be, they won't be dispatched until the 6th, I think after the 6th of May, isn't it? Well, yeah, there'll be a cut off. I have got some that will go out as pre-orders yeah. um, this week, but I don't know. The numbers. The numbers so Molly's numbers. short as well. So you can go over to what's your website called? Molly's Creature Molly's Creature Creative dot com. Creature Creator. Creature Creator. Creature Creator. Creature Creator. Creature Creator. Creature Creator. 
So well done for supporting Molly. She's got to build that kitchen back up, so well done. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's really kind. No, I, I really do have to build the kitchen back up and not burn it down again. So anyone that's got a tumble dryer, I'll say be really careful with tumble dryer as well. Mm. It's not been the best thing. Ah! It's, a, it's a scary thing, fire. Very destructive thing. But you've got to keep going. Everyone's still here. This is the caramel. Ooh, smell that. Nice. Oh, nice. Mm. Really nice. So we're going to make the hooves and the horn with this. You make me laugh the way you just chop into the icing sugar. Slap. I know. The I know. Bang. Scissors. I know. Open the orange one. Scissors. Okay. Okay. I just use like whatever's around, I think. I know it drives people mad though, because I think you're either a tidy worker or you're not. Yeah. And if you're an untidy worker and you're being watched by really tidy workers, you'll be like, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, I've actually got over the trauma of my kitchen being trashed. <laughs> it's been trashed a bit this week. Who's the worst? Eh? Who's been the worst at trashing? Well, oh, I don't think. No. I don't think we've really had a bad person, no, have we? we we've had a lot of mess. It depends. Of mess. It depends yeah. what you're making. Yeah. I might need a little skewer for this. We've got a little um because we can't leave it to dry. We've got a little skewer. Yes. Just for the whole. Obviously, so you can leave it to dry just, normally. If you just explain that. This looks a bit like a dog poo, but it's not. <laughs> um, it's a horn. I'm gonna stick that on, and we'll just put a little skewer through it so it can. Um, like I've done this week, pulling myself together. Yes, <laughs> you've done it very well. Thank you. It's been a funny old week. Oh, that smells so nice, that car so it's actually caramel flavour. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like that. I'm going to get myself some of that. Uh, eyes will go in there. So Ooh, I know a few it. of you are asking which dry it is. We're not saying. It's not fair for us to say, really. I can but say. No. Oh. <laughs> go on my Instagram. I've said exactly which one. There you go. Follow, follow no. me on Instagram. Molly makes cakes on Instagram. This <laughs> is their fault that I've got no studio now. Sorry, I'm really mad. <laughs> but it's true, you know. Someone's at fault. Yeah. Um, okay. Horn we've got in. I'm going to stick the eyes in. And then the unicorns, I think, look a bit weird until you start putting the hair on. Yeah. Because they look a bit bald. It looks great how you've just put it all together like that. Yeah. It's giving you the basic shape, which is nice. You can do different colours as well instead of white if you want to do like a pink one or whatever. And then we're going to put rainbow coloured um, mane and tail on as well, which would be nice. So, eyes going on there. Pupils. I do the eyes quite simply. And then afterwards you can do the you know the brush on glaze if you wanted to make the eyes shiny. Which look pretty ah, so you've got it from that camera over there? Yeah, I'm going between this one and that one. And that one over there where Maria is? Yeah. Oh, that's oh. What I'm on. I'm on oh, that. Ah, yeah, there you are. All that, like that. I didn't know that camera was there. I didn't know that camera was there. I was thinking, come on, we're going to have to twist this round again. I've got a twisted neck, me, it. trying to do this tonight. <laughs> Devel I've developed myself as bloody sore neck. I'm not trying to look round here ever then. <laughs> I can, see two, I can see two screens here, but I can't see what you're doing. I'm trying to look on here and I'm thinking, right, how has she done that? <laughs> Magic. So, my hands, I've been airbrushing today and I get stained. So, good question here. Somebody said, what would you charge for the lying down one if you were selling the cake? If I was selling this cake, I mean, it's really hard with what, what people would charge because wherever you're based, like... It is, it is on area. Yeah. 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 So, I mean... Maybe charge like eighty pounds. Mm. What do you reckon? I no, know. I would say I would probably say seventy-five to eighty pounds. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of sugar based on there. But it also depends yeah. on how. Well, Maloney, Maloney Grant got it right straight away, seventy-five to eighty. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's a nice price for people to pay if they haven't necessarily right. got a big budget, or they don't, or they, they want to make a nice gesture for someone, but they don't have the budget. Yeah. Or it's also nice if you're just giving it as a gift to somebody. Yeah. It's a nice size gift to give somebody. It is, and like you said before, there's a decent amount of cake in it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we think about 10 to 15 nice yeah. portions. So, sorry, Carol, we are sold out of the mould. So, Molly only had a, Molly has been at the cake show last weekend and she actually sold more than she expected, really. She was actually really overwhelmed with how well her sales went, which it's is fantastic. Batch as well. It's a good confidence boost for you, that, that people fell in you love with it. You don't so, know, do you? You we managed to idea. get 50 for tonight. She did tell us. She, we were actually lucky we got 50 because she actually thought they went up in smoke on Monday. Yeah. So we've got 50 for tonight. We have sold out. We have sold out within 40 minutes of both moulds. Wow. 
So as soon as we can get some more in, we will get some more in. Molly is ordering more tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I might speak to her and I might put some pre-orders on, but I need to speak to Molly afterwards to see what dates those are. Yeah. The only thing with pre-orders, that means everything comes together. So if you order anything else, it all has to come together. But John might just have a nervous breakdown if I say this <laughs> about pre-orders. have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> well, that's I how I see. do on pre-orders and it's like, because it, it's not just the products arriving because we get the um, booklets printed separately yeah. and I box it all. I yeah. even assemble the boxes. So yeah. um, I'm going to be a busy bee. Yeah. Well, I'll say it to me, it's me, my mum, my gran. Occasionally Aww. my dad if he's around, <laughs> yeah. uh, and Dean. <laughs> That's how it has to be though, isn't it? You know, yeah. you, you are only one person, so you've got to have a hand. And yeah, the exactly. great thing is when you've got supportive family around you, that's the point. Oh, it's so lovely. So Emma Wright wants to know, are you going to put another hoof on? Oh, we we missed one, we only got three. One. Yeah, because when you turn it sideways, it's just yeah. turn it this way. Pretend it's underneath, you can't really yeah. see it. So when you're looking at the cake this way, it's... If the legs underneath. Yeah, I mean, if you put one there, it look a bit squashed. So we're doing it, so its body's kind of yeah. turned to one side. Yeah. So I do do. Yeah, I should explain that. I do. Yeah. You know, do as many as you want. So I'm gonna mix a bit of orange with some white. So I'm making like a pastely colour, mm. mane and tail. So you've got your pastel, your pink, okay, great. orange, um, yellow, green, <laughs> blue. Donna, Donna Ryan, your mates on Laura. Hi, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> She's done the need that lay down one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you know what? You can make the unicorn with either because you could do like a, a cute sit. We can't sell them any, they're both sold out. <laughs> they're both gone now. <laughs> I'm really shocked with myself. I know it's annoying. Oh, our friend Natalie's watching. Which Natalie? Natalie Porter, your oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> Which Natalie? I love Natalie. Yeah, she's a great girl. Don't worry, Donna. As soon as I've got more stock, I will drop you an email and let you know. Yeah. So nice of people buying it. Thank you, everyone. It's the support Molly's burnt down studio fund. <laughs> Seriously, guys, thank you for supporting Molly yeah. today, buying them all. That's absolutely amazing. We're actually really chuffed. And what we will do, we will have a chat with Molly afterwards and see if we can put some pre-orders on with a yeah. sensible date. But do remember, if I put pre-orders on, we'll make an announcement. But if I put pre-orders on, please do not do mine and Laura's head in asking when it's coming. Sometimes things do, you know, they go past the pre-order date. Yes. So, you know, so, and that's why we're all hyperventilating here when you think about it. You know, like Molly said, the moulds yeah, might come, but the books might not arrive. The boxes might Does not go come in. in. The bag? Possibly no. in the bag. So, where did my yellow go? There. Oh. Hey. Yes, I put it in the tub, yeah. So I'm just making these like long, thin carrot shapes here for the for the hair. It's quite cute way of doing the hair. But I'm doing like a rainbowy style. You can go really thin on these if you mm. want and do really fine hairs, but mm. to be honest, you get quite a lot of movement with the, the thick. And you know what, Steph, what you've just said there is it's great. Cannot believe how fast she's done this. So Molly has go, been going live now just over an hour because we were talking till about quarter past eight. So we're 9.20 and in that time she has done two cakes <laughs> just completing this one. So this is how fantastic this is. So if you want to do me pre-orders, I cannot stress, I will give you an approximate date. But if they're past that date, sorry, you have to grit your teeth and bear with us. Okay. And do remember if you order <laughs> anything else with it, it will all come together we yeah. won't send out two dispatches i can... need a carol in my life yeah <laughs> oh, we've learned our lessons believe me <laughs> we've learned our lessons when we've done pre-orders I, I can feel john probably in the lounge there having a meltdown but i'm opening <laughs> my big gob sorry john what's he saying <laughs> oh yeah look he's already texting Laura. he's already he's texting laura going when will we learn <laughs> Sorry for anyone else, yeah. I'm doing my best. So I have got some I'm gonna send out this week. They'll yeah. be the first people that have ordered though, so it's kind of a, like a first come, first serve. Yeah. I knew John would be having a meltdown at that. I could I could feel <laughs> I can I'm I'm actually worked up about it. <laughs> Just thinking about it. I've got anxiety. We did this with Dawn Butler's airbrushes. Dawn Butler's airbrushes sold out on the night. Yeah. And we had, loads of, we had loads we had loads oh, of them and they were sold out by they were sold out by midnight. We had loads yeah. of them, didn't we? Yeah. And then we had to put them on pre order and then it was just it was just a nightmare. <laughs> but then there was a hurricane. Yes. That's right, the yeah the ship, ship got stopped. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so, so the, the, just, the ship got stopped. The big hurricane from... last summer, um, and the ship got in the Caribbean from when it, come, when it was coming from. The sh all the ships, not her, not What's just her ship, all the ships. Mm -hmm. No, not Coming Caribbean. Coming across the seas, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're so. coming from China, aren't they? I think it might. They might. I don't know. Where, I don't I can't know. remember where they were coming from. Mm. But um, flying the Caribbean. Oh, no, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't coming past the Caribbean. But anyhow, there was a big storm, and um, it was all over. It was all over the world. I can't think where it was. Yeah, where was it? I so that delayed it. Yeah. Yeah. All got the got ships delayed. got pulled in for Gosh. a few days. Scary. And then it's not that, it's when everything says a backlog, then it all that gets hold up in customs and everything else. Well, what it is for me as well is how long it takes to box it all, to mm. put it all together. Like, at least though now, it took a long, it took longer for me to do, to do the, the book, the little book that was hard for me because it's not, not very good. We have, the, we have the same with <laughs> nozzles. When we started doing the nozzles, we oh, yeah. brought them in. Um, the designer is from Russia. Yes. We're trying to get things out of Russia is one thing. And trying to get it through customers customers is another and it's not a quick process yeah. yeah and then and uh, i know when we first released the nozzles and we did them on pre-order and oh my god they went past the date they should have been dispatched at the beginning of september and they didn't get dispatched to the end and some people were really very good but others you would think that had robbed them of their money <laughs> it was like <laughs> So, so we've had a few things where we where we're very uncomfortable with it. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of people ask me, can I pre-order Alison? Can Alison Alice Smith Smith Brook? She must know my John really well. Can you feel the vibrations from John pacing up and down in the house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of going back in the house. <laughs> pre-order for me. <laughs> no, when my John gets worked up, he starts pacing, oh, and. Wow. Um, he always starts chatting to me at bloody half past five, six in the morning. Oh, and right. I'm, I don't want to talk to anybody. I just so want a cup of tea. Yeah. 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 I want a cup of tea. I, I want to go work. Yeah. But John insists on talking to me about... Do you know what? Dean's a bit like that. Yeah. He's a very morning He's person. wide awake, John. He's like, morning. He's his eyes open. He's got great big brown eyes. And he's like, morning. <laughs> wanting to chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, Leave me alone. Know. That's how John is. <laughs> I'm going to paint these, this horn now and the hooves. I love the colours. Don't they look fantastic? They're cute, aren't they? And do you know what's nice as well? Is you could do like a pearlescent cheese. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with the spray or the... the yeah. So we're going to use the rainbow dust paint, aren't we? Yeah. You need a brush? The, um, edible metallic paint. Mm -hmm. And I'm using dark gold, which is my favourite gold. Can I just ask a quick question? Yes. So someone has said, can the arms be done out of cake on the stand-up figure or would they be too heavy? Um, the arms... You could probably easily do the feet because they're be they're yes. resting on the board. Yeah, the stable. Um, yes, you probably could. I would say if you do anything like that, which is involving more carving, then probably just ganache it. Yeah, make yeah. it stronger. But like I said, I haven't I haven't tried it. It's going to be interesting to see people actually using the moulds. Like I've had about three or four people actually using them so far and seeing them yeah. out in the wild. <laughs> so it's nice to see what people are going to come up with. Yeah, like, of course it is. Yeah. Somebody said at the show as well they were like looking at the laying down when they said you could make a shoe. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. the size board that the unicorn is on is on a 14 inch rose gold board. Oh, it's nice. Okay. Yeah. And they're lovely, the rose gold boards. It goes really well with that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really <laughs> pretty. I love the coloured boards as well. They're perfect yeah. for, um, for sculpted cakes, 3D yeah. cakes, because you can't cover your board first, really. No. I mean, you probably could with the creature creator because you're not doing any, any sculpt, any carving, so you're not going to get crumbs on it. But it's nice to just have. I like the black ones. Yeah. Yeah. Shows them off really nice, the blackboards. I use them quite a lot. In fact, I ran out of those when I was photographing stuff, so I was covering normal well, boards. We don't sell, I've stopped selling the black ones. Have you? Yeah, oh, because right. they always scratch and you see the silver through them. Ah, uh, yeah, that's so, what you do. I got fed up of people messaging me saying I bought this board <laughs> and it's scratched and you can see, see the silver foil for it. So I now only sell silver yeah. and rose gold and copper boards. Oh, nice. What about those purple ones? Are you using them? No, nope, don't sell them no. anymore. That's why we've got a couple full there. So, I mean, this bunny's leaning a little bit now because we've used really soft cake. Yeah, we don't so, look as though he's leaning. She looks a bit sad. So, are we done? Are they done then? This is me clearing up. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. That is just <laughs> record time, and I have to say. Yeah. What do we think, guys? I actually believe it. In that, in the quick time. And, you know, we've not all got loads of time, especially people with businesses. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be spending all your time. Don't put them away, Carol. They've got to be sent out. Soon. I know. Some, yeah, that's somebody's. I was hoping I was going to get a sample. I know. You will, you will. I'll be back. I'll come back. So, everybody, what do you think? 
So those lucky ones who've got one or two of these on the way to them, okay? I am sorry we've sold out, but I'm so pleased that Molly has sold out. Like I say, I will talk to Molly after the live, whether we can do some pre-orders, if you want pre-orders, but do remember, I cannot stress this enough, I will give an approximate dispatch date, but if it's a week or two after that, you've got to be patient. Don't be ringing me and saying it was for your daughter's birthday or anything like that. Things do yeah. happen. Okay. So when you get one of these, they all come lovely gift wrapped. Look at that. Well, Molly does them. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so I can't nice. open up and show you because somebody owns this. It's been sold. Yeah. So <laughs> Let's put some weird stuff in it. I'm glad we got that done. So right, that they know it was theirs. So we'll see who gets this one. What else do you want to chuck the in there? The lucky one from Molly. Yeah. Five, imagine if got it, five. But do you know what? Imagine if it's someone that's not watched the live. I know, and I wonder why I've got a friend now. Yellow balls. Right, I wonder why I've got a friend I've got a yellow ball in there. Right, okay. um, but there's more pictures and stuff at creaturecreator.com, Molly's creaturecreator.com, or one word if people Which can see the this one? This one is the can make, stand up one. Yes. So in the stand up one, two brochures, so you get learn how to make. Um, Enrique the elephant. Thank you. <laughs> Enrique the <laughs> elephant. Oh, that's right. <laughs> And I like Eddie the Teddy. <laughs> Eddie the Teddy. <laughs> so you get that one. Name. You also get the book. And there's the recipe in there for the Madeira cake. She's used a softer cake today to remember that she's not in her own kitchen. So Renshaw are kindly uh, looking after her. So she's had to make um, a... What have we got here? Is it Victoria Sponge or Genoese or something? It's called creme cake. Right. So it's like really, really soft. But, you know, it worked. Yeah. yeah. A bit. <laughs> So the yellow ball one, if you get one of these, yeah, Molly, do you want to just touch your hands all over it and everything like that? So that's good that you've done it there. My you you know, actually packed everyone. Do you know what yeah. you could? You eh? could sign the inside of the lid and someone would be very lucky to get that. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. Get They'd love that. Yeah. We'll, we'll get people that excited about me. So, um, anyhow, so thanks, guys. So, um, I don't know what you want to say, but what an amazing treat. Aren't we very, very lucky to have her in the kitchen? Oh, well, I'm lucky that I'm here. So thank you. You know, oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah, we think sick. you're lucky as well. I am. Great. <laughs> Great old time. We think that Paul Bradford's lucky as well. Oh, <laughs> so, anyhow, we will make sure we will get Molly back, yeah. okay? I, I will get John to send out an email. What we go, he's pacing the lounge at the moment. Yeah. Sending Laura text messages. I've noticed he's not sent them to me. <laughs> I'll be in trouble now. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. How many watches are there? Well, four. Oh, there's been 600. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Still yeah. loads of them. I'm going to watch this when I get home. Yeah, you'll love it. I can yeah. reply Very to people positive. as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Maria will make some one-minute videos. And like I say, I will update you. These will be absolutely amazing to watch. Um, next Monday, we are with Paul Bradford. I am flying out on Friday because I am lucky enough to do two of his classes, which I had to pay for. What are you making? Give me in. Of course, I have to pay for it. I don't expect nothing for free. But I'll just give a big hint. Anyhow. But no, I'm making these dragons class. Oh, I right. saw them. We yeah. saw them when we were there last time. They're beautiful. Yeah, I fell yeah. in love with them. I said, yeah. oh, if you do a class on that, I've got to book on it. Mm. And then these party animals oh, on the yeah, Sunday as well. Yeah, like yeah. Them. So we're doing that. So on Monday, Paul is on our live. And he is either going to do a 3D dragon or nifty nozzles. We haven't decided yet. Ooh. But to be fair, I think I might be knackered after two days teaching. I think I might let him get on with a 3D dragon. Yeah, that's true. You might have lost your voice back. <laughs> I might get my voice back. That's his point. It keeps yeah. going up and down through the day. So it's really weird. So thank you for joining us. I know that you've been really good. You've watched three lives this week. How amazing wow. is that? Get your so, own channel. I know. <laughs> Catalina Angel, who was in on Monday. Fabulous tutorial. She is going to be doing classes in um, November. I think it's the 6th, 15th and 16th, or 16th and 17th. It's the weekend, anyway. Yeah, yeah here. Really she'll cool. be doing those classes. We've got Zoe Fancy Cakes in June. Oh, okay. Zoe's fantastic, isn't she? She's one of my favourite cake decorators. Yeah, so she's here. She's going to be here in June. We've got Valerie and Christina here in uh, September. Oh, we have them all here, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got um, Valerie and Christina here yeah. in September. We've also got Natalie Porter here in Yay. June and in <laughs> September. So, you know, it's a fabulous set of people that are here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen What's teaching. That? Laura and I went over to see another t uh, kitchen today that we can hire just across the road from our warehouse. Ooh. So we're thinking of hiring that on some of those classes so that people can go there. And then that means we can nip you into the warehouse to buy things. 
This is great. That's good, doesn't it? We can fit more people in space, can we? Yeah. Yes, we can. So we're going to have two that, kitchens. I don't know. What flavour was it? Mm -hmm. Molly's talking about buttercream, by the way. What mm. flavour it is. <laughs> well, I presume it's, sugar, it's your... Flavor. It's our icing sugar. It's mm. our flavoured icing sugar in a buttercream. You no, know, it's vanilla fudge. Oh, We've is sold it out. Oh, no, don't. We've sold out. It's amazing, isn't <laughs> it? It's really nice. I oh, know. No. This is how daft this is. Even well, Molly's nice. just told you. Because it doesn't, ta it doesn't taste like a flavour. It just tastes like a really nice flavour. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's vanilla fudge. Oh. I did a live last week. <laughs> Not um, tea. I haven't tasted the vanilla fudge for I haven't tasted the vanilla vanilla fudge since I developed it. And then I and then I tasted last week and I went, Oh my god, that's nice. Really nice. We've had a sale on, we sold out. And then I said to John, we need to on the way out. I said to John, we need to get some more on. We've got no more flavouring, so we've just ordered it today. So we should have it back in by the end of the month and back on sale again. But I'm glad she just tasted it because it's delicious, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. So we're gonna let you go. So Yay. thank you very much. There's no point me asking anyone to clear the baskets because they are all sold. I have counted all 50 have gone. Wow. So that's lovely. Thank you. We're going to post up tomorrow. Big thumbs up for Molly. Molly Big fire. thumbs up for you guys. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, everybody. And Laura and Maria are joining us on Monday. They're flying out to Malaga as well. <gasps> and, and then I'm flying. Us. Oh, no. And then I'm flying. Yes, isn't Maybe. that fun? And I'm on Extreme Cake Makers next week if anybody wants yeah. to watch Channel 4. What day is it on? It's on every day. Oh, is so it? Monday to Friday, yeah. Friday. I have to say, I've never watched it. <gasps> and now I watched 10 minutes the other day. <laughs> I know, it's an app. Hey. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll probably still at the warehouse at that time. I've heard it. I just don't get to. I haven't watched telly. Do you know that I've got no, 80 episodes of Coronation Street to watch? <laughs> I haven't watched telly in a year. Honest to God, I haven't. Get on four on demand. Watch yeah. all my episodes anyway. 80, 80 plus episodes of Coronation well, you're not Street. Having any more. I was addicted to watching that. <laughs> I'll give so, you a quiz. Which cakes I've done on Extreme Cake Makers and then you can have some more. I, 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 even, I even haven't watched my Silent Witness either. John watches them on his own. So um, I just haven't got time. I'm, I'm freaking so attached all you to that computer. buying so much stuff that Carol can't watch Carol. I'm attached to that computer all the time. Get my violin out. Yeah, oh, look, see that. I pinched my hair in the oh, kitchen. Oh, oh my God. God. No. Let's rub the cake. I've touched Carol's hair. No, let's rub the cake. With my hair. <laughs> So we better one, go for it. This one, yeah, exactly. So do remember, those guys who are watching, this is just fun in the kitchen. Yeah. Again, when Molly's on the TV as well, you know, it's just fun. We don't want her all gowned up so we can't see her and everybody else. It's just called light entertainment, okay? And that's all that goes on here. So this cake is not being sold. It's going to go home to Laura. Yeah. And the unicorn is going to go home to Maria. Yeah. And that's all I've got left. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll put some of that nice. Yeah, put your vanilla fudge on. Mm. I don't know. Look, look at this. What flavour is that one? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyhow, we're Let's going. Say good night. Yeah. <laughs> See you Monday, <laughs> eight o'clock with Paul Bradford, and you're in on Wednesday with Paul. Yes. You're doing a live on Wednesday. Yes. Molly's Cake doing flicks. a live. Cake flicks. Mm. Molly's doing a live with Paul Bradford on Wednesday in Malaga. I'll be all red from the heat. <laughs> For Lancashire skin. <laughs> Are you staying at Paul's house as well? I don't know. Uh, well, you no, must be if you're going. Well, the girls are staying at Paul's house. Mm. So oh, keep the, the dogs warm too. the bed for yeah. them. We will. Or when she gets Thank over. Thank put clean, me a note. Put clean bedding on for her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we're going. Bye. 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 Bye.